So when you're picking up a mooring ball, it's very important that you have your lines ready to go. And what we're actually going to do is set it up as a bridle. The first step in that is to take the line, pass it over the bow rail, and then make sure that it's firmly secured on the cleat. Very important to go over. That line now is ready to be handed over and hooked onto the mooring ball. I've prepared this line here on the port side in exactly the same way. Okay, so we're now gonna pick up the mooring ball line. I'll take my boat hook, grab the line, bring it all the way up. I'm gonna take my first line, put it through. Take my second line and pull it through. Pull a good amount of slack all the way through so it's on board the boat. I'm going to start by fastening one end. Pull the line all the way through. and get a figure of eight turn on the cleat. I'm gonna come over, take my other line, and do exactly the same. At this point, the captain can let the boat just go back very slowly. And as you'll see, we've now got two lines, what we essentially call a bridle, that are attached to the single line on the mooring ball. Make sure you get another figure of eight turn on this cleat. And then typically let the boat settle. So now you can actually see the end result of picking up a mooring where we've put our two bow lines through the actual eye of the, uh, the mooring ball line. This allows us now to be securely moored for the, uh, for the evening and the night. Important to do two lines. It's important to have the bridle it acts as a, a secondary line, so uh, the first line uh, break for some reason, and it also help the boat swing uh, in the wind in the evening. So um, what you're seeing on film now is the correct way to set up your mooring ball. Mm -hmm.